I was down, but now I'm up. Yeah, this all got to say no love. Yeah, I used to be stuck in that mud. Whoa. Yeah, I was down, but now I'm up, 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 up. I was down, but now I'm up. Yeah, this all got to say no love. What's going on everybody? Pete Sands and we're here for episode two of Restore the Ridge with my man Kyle Brooks. Kyle, heck of a week buddy, heck of a week. Absolutely, made a lot more progress and gonna keep the pedal down, keep moving forward. Yeah, so we got all the springs down, we got them, uh, hit them with some command, threw some water on them, fertilizer, is that, walk us through the process of, you know, what to expect over the next few weeks, what you're looking for, what you're not looking for, all that good stuff. Yeah, basically a little bit more of the same. Uh, just going to continue to spoon feed with fertilizing and um, still seeing some watering windows throughout the day. But, you know, sprigs kind of go into an initial shock when you first cut them and they look kind of dead and brown and we're starting to see a good green up on them now, which is, you know, good progress. We got the command down. We got more top dressing down. Um, I mean, really right on track. The weather is cooperating exactly how we want it at this point. We got a little bit of rain over the weekend. Um, I mean, we're up in the mid eighties now, so knock on. Yeah. And it looks favorable kind of going forward. 12 day, 15 day forecast yeah. looks pretty good. Um, and as you guys could probably tell, we are not here on the golf course. We are actually at a local nursery because, you know, Kyle and I, we ride the golf course and, uh, you know, we look at which way, what are ways we can continue to move the golf course forward and no right. pun intended restore the ridge a little bit and we figured the golf course needs a little color that's right that's so right. it's it's uh it's always you know we got such gorgeous backdrops uh you know that we have around the golf course the golf course is you know i put it up with with any of them so how do we make that stuff pop okay. and so you know kind of the thought process was let's go find some uh some color in the some trees and some uh you know, different things we could do, different places around the golf course that we might be able to put some color. So that's kind of what we're doing out here today. We're picking out some uh, crepe myrtles. We looked at some uh, Chinese snowball, some magnolia type stuff, or uh, uh, yeah, some magnolias. But, um, you know, that's as a superintendent, um, you know, you, you come on property, you've been here a couple of weeks now, and uh, you probably are trying to paint your picture of what Cherokee right, Ridge right. look like. It's a blank canvas right now. And like I said, the sky's the limit and only way we can go is up. We got a couple of beautiful um, scenic holes with some great backdrops that, you know, being able to add some color to and these uh, watermelon red crepe myrtles will definitely bring a, you know, a, a real nice summer bloom and add some color to the, some of these great backdrops that we have. Yeah, and like uh, like everything, it's not overnight fix, right? I mean, so uh, we probably look to start doing this stuff kind of early November. You know, we're just here to, to kind of shop around a little bit. But, um, you know, I, I think that's just another, uh, you know, just another reason why I'm so excited about, you know, where this golf course is going. Um, you know, the, the, the detail stuff is going to start getting done. And, uh, I mean, even some areas, we're prepping some areas that uh, what I call no man's land type stuff. Mm -hmm. That you just don't know what to do with it and you know so now we kind of have a vision of uh of what we're going to do going forward and uh kind of making everything tie into you know one seamless golf course where if you're on hole number one you know you still feel hole number one while you're on hole number 15 and, and, and so on so um but uh, guys are working hard out there i mean uh we pitch fork in a lot of a lot of concrete rock that uh yeah. you know what i'm saying but they're getting it done um Working on some some new, like you said, some of the no man land, some hardscapes, you know, low maintenance areas, and you know, building some stone walls and doing some stone walk off areas and those hardscapes, you know, in conjunction with um, some of these new nursery products, adding some color, it's it's really going to pop. Yeah, and I mean, so when we looked at identity stuff, we we were looking and it's like, all right, what do we want to be as a golf course? And the name Cherokee Ridge, right? I mean, it's like when you think Ridge, what do you think? Mountain, rock that sort of stuff. So you're going to see some cool, uh, unique things that we're going to do to the golf course to really showcase, um, you know, the, the, the actual terrain that, that we, that yeah. the golf course is on with it being on a mountain, with it having all those gorgeous rock features in the background. We're going to start cleaning all that stuff up. We're going to start, uh, 
utilizing some uh, some of nature to help us with, with some of these areas. But, um, I mean, you're going to see a lot more uh, of that stuff kind of going forward here here in the next few weeks that, uh, you know, you'll definitely start seeing changes. And we're going to get on here weekly. And like, like I said last week on the first video, you know, the purpose of this is to uh, kind of walk you through this process the same way we're walking through this process. So even something like shopping for, you know, trees and plants and stuff like that, we want to be make sure that you guys are a part of it. Uh, so you guys see, you know, at the end result, you know, with the vision that we had and the, the rhyme and reason why we do stuff. That's right. So, but all right, Kyle, well, we got some, some trees to pick out. We got your trailer in the background or the back, uh, behind the, behind the barn there. So we're going to, we're going to do some shopping, get to work and load it up and get to work, start loading it up. So make sure, uh, you guys, if you guys don't follow us, you know, I always forget to do that, uh, to mention that, but make sure you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all the social media sites, but uh this is episode two of restore the ridge and we have a long way to go but uh we're excited about going so uh kyle appreciate it buddy and uh we'll see everybody on the ridge i was down but now i'm up yeah it's all god this ain't no love yeah i used to be stuck in that mud yeah i was down but now i'm up 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 i was down but now i'm up yeah